Alright everyone, welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered on Grounded Difficulty. So, we left off, um, Ellie had run away from Tommy and myself, because I think she's a bit pissed that Joel's willing to just pass her over to Tommy to take to the Fireflies and just, like, leave their friendship behind. The last we found was a horse was, um, tied up against this ranch house. And we're gonna go inside and hope, hope that she's inside and we can find her. Ellie! Ellie! Come up here. Oh, so she is here. I'll keep an eye out. Reckon you guys need to have a chat. Okay, so she let us know that she's upstairs. But seeing as we are playing grounded difficulty, I'm gonna wanna check for any supplies you can find before we actually progress the story. So we've got a bit of um, a rag just then from that storage room at the back. Quickly check downstairs and then we'll head over to Ellie. I'm not expecting to find anything else around here now. You're lucky to find one piece of crafting material in the house at a time. So she's up here somewhere. Is that comic she's been reading? Another collectible. Let's just check all these rooms. I'm not actually sure where Ellie is right now. It's got quite a few clean materials right there. Some tape and scissors. That's good. I think she's in this door. Or not. Because this is the bathroom. Unless she's taking a massive dump. Which I don't think she is. Right, she must be in one of these doors. It's another bath. How many bathrooms has this house got? Bloody hell. There's like three or four bathrooms in a tiny little house. Must be this one. Is this really all they had to worry about? Boys? Movies? Deciding which shirt goes with which skirt? It's bizarre. Get up. We're leaving. Come on. And if I say no? Do you even realize what your life means? Huh? Running off like that, putting yourself at risk, it's pretty goddamn stupid. Well, I guess we're both disappointed with each other then. What do you want from me? Admit that you wanted to get rid of me the whole time. Tommy knows this area. Oh, better fuck than... that. Well, I'm sorry. I trust him better than I trust myself. Stop with the bullshit. What are you so afraid of? That I'm going to end up like Sam? I can't get infected. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? Well, we seem to be doing all right so far. And now you'll be doing even better with Tommy. Not her, you know. What? Maria told me about Sarah. Ellie? And... You are treading on some mighty thin ice here. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel, but I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. You're right. You're not my daughter. And I sure as hell ain't your dad. And we are going our separate ways. Get it together. We're not alone. I got two walking out. There's more inside already. Alright, so Joel and Ellie are not getting along too well at the moment. I'm quite surprised how um, Joel kind of s dealt with that situation. Like, is he happy to just let Ellie go now? Because, like, if he hasn't got Ellie with him, like, what's he living for? He hasn't got anything else to do. Is he just going to go out on his own and just survive? Is he not going to kind of see this thing through to an end? Because he's come so far with Ellie and he's just happy to pass her over. So we got a guy here on the right. I'm going to grab him. There's another guy with there. There he is. Shit. 
I had to take that shot there because he was going to spot us anyway. So let me just see if we've got any ammo in any other guns. Nope. So we've got we've still got plenty of ammo for like the situations we've got ahead. There's a machete there. Let me just pick that up and compare it to what I've got. It's the same, really, because that's got three hits on it, and this has got three hits in it. Keep up the axe for now. Because the axe is more badass, isn't it? Like a Viking. Go check over that way. Where the fuck are We can probably stealth these guys. Save on ammo. So let's follow this guy in. Even if we'll actually have to use the melee weapon a bit. If we use all the hits on it, we can still go back upstairs and grab the machete. So we should be able to deal with this pretty easily. So I think there's only two more hunters left. Just picked up a bullet there for the other pistol, the 9mm. So let's just um, may as well switch to that now and load it up. I want to stay away from using any um, equipment here, like molotovs to, or anything like that. Not that we've actually got any, or we can't craft any. We can craft a smoke bomb. See anything? Come on, keep looking. Surprised these um, guys like didn't want upstairs when I shot that guy in the face. I'm sure they would have heard it. Right, so they're both in the side of this living room now. Let's see um, him sneak on in and see. Shit. Oh, shit. shit, he's like, oh god, he's there. Where did he come from? Did not see that. I've got to make sure the guy on the right doesn't come as well. So we cleared it, but we also took a shot to the ass. I think. Look at that guy's neck. Oh, we wrecked him. Are we done in here? The music's still playing, so it makes you feel like there's still someone here to... ...to kill. Alright. House is clear. Let's get back to the horses. Alright, Joel's confirmed that it's empty now. Oh, I wish I had a health bar, because I want to see if I did actually take damage then. I'm sure he, sh he shot me in the back while I was axing the first guy. And then... Seeing as we did use two axe kills then, we may as well switch to the machete up here. Because it's got more charges on it now, it's only got one left. So machete! Right, Ellie. Is he still sulking? You look like you're sulking. Flashlight! Yay! Okay, let's go. <laughs> Don't know what Joel's doing with the shotgun, he's got no ammo for it. Clear! Sad way to end Joel and Ellie's relationship here, like this. Just telling her to like go a separate way, back off. Emotion in Joel's face. He's having second thoughts there, isn't he? Shaking his head. There she is. Kids will be watching movies tonight. Where is this lab of theirs? It's all the way out. University of Eastern Colorado. No big horns. <laughs> Hell, get off your horse. Give it on back to Tom. I'm gonna hang on to this fella. That's all right with you. Oh, don't make me repeat myself. What are you doing? Your wife kind of scares me. <laughs> I don't want her coming after you. Sorry for stealing your horse. Well, come back to town. Let's discuss it at least. You know me, my mind's all made up. University, Eastern Colorado. How do I find this lab? It's in the science building. Looks like a giant mirror and you can't miss it. You take care of that wife here. 
There's a place for you here. You know? You good? I'm good. Adios, little brother. So cute how Ellie's just accepted Joel's apology without him even actually saying it. She knows he fucked up, and he knows it too. Give the ball to the other team. Right, it's called turnover. And if you clear the ten yards, then you're back at first down. First down, that's right. Man, it's confusing. <laughs> you just gotta play it a couple times. It all makes sense. So that place back at Tommy's place there, that was in a separate accommodation. I didn't realize. I thought they were living in the um, the electricity place where they had the dam and all that, but they were actually living on a separate compound. Okay, none of these buildings look like a mirror at me. Go well, ahead we'll to central grounds. Should be able to see most of the campus from there. So we're looking for the lab now where they're going to find the fireflies hopefully. This is where Tommy said that they have a base. And it's going to be on a, a building that looks like a mirror is the one that is the lab. Oh, we've got like a little garage here. I'm going to hop off the horse. Stay, Callis. What kind of name is Callis anyways? It's not my fault you forgot to ask Tommy his name. Callis. So Ellie's called the horse callus. Isn't the callus when like you get blister on your hand? <laughs> Found a new weapon right here. That's a little flamethrower. How much ammo does it have? Twenty. It has twenty fuel, so I think it ticks away as you flame if you as you use it. We've got a, we've got a crafting bench here. Might as well check this out because I think we've got quite a lot of parts now. Yeah, 467, that's plenty, that's a lot. So we're going to up the, upgrade the weapons that um, increase the damage of the shot more so than the that ammo and the reload speed. So you can put some armor piercing on the hunting rifle. I'm going to put a scope on that as well, actually. I'd like to put some more power on it, but we haven't got the um, toolkit parts yet. Shotgun. Range, yeah, range and shotgun actually is really important. Fire rate, click capacity, no, that's not, not in, um, important. Reload speed on arrows, maybe. Why not? We've got plenty of um, parts to use. Recall is not too important with the shotgun because you're only really going to be taking one shot at a time. The spread. I think you'd want to have a less spread, wouldn't you? Unless... I was meant to, I'm going to actually increase that, see if it helps out, because that way you can probably take out two enemies at one shot, if it's got more spread, but also do less damage in a center point. So it's a bit of a tricky one, that. We can't upgrade any of that stuff. Well, we can, but it's not really worth it. That should help us out. Oh, there's actually some more parts there as well. We don't actually need any more parts at the moment. What we really do need is a toolkit. Did we put a scope on the rifle? I think we put a scope on the rifle. So we're just going to scavenge what we can in this um, garage in the university. Before we carry on. Study, party, and find themselves. Figure out what they wanted to do with their lives. So explain the concept of um, university to to Ellie. It's like what? Well, they just they lived in school. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? There was a lookout here. That's a good sign. So there's a sniper's nest log here. It's got a log of what he's found. Nothing. Nothing. Five new recruits from Chicago quarantine zone. Six guys from HQ. Ten million werewolves. Happy Halloween, okay. So he's just um, made, made a log of what's came in through the university, whether it be survivors, 
or any equipment that they've actually brought in themselves from other fireflies. And where you can't go any higher in this building. So let's make our way back down through the garage. I'm expecting to find some um, tool parts here to make our upgrading better. Because you'd think they would have some in the um, the school garage. But it doesn't look like there is any. It's a shame. Alright, so let's get back on the horse. Let's get back and call us. Scooch on back. Scooch on back. Fun. What was fun? What jumping over the barbed wire? <laughs> That's a giant ram. You guys were like some idol worshippers. <laughs> when it came to sports, hell yeah. Get him! It's getting chilly. There's that time of year. The thing with this game as well, you actually progress through the seasons in the, in a year. So we're kind of heading in closer to winter now. We're in the autumn at the moment. I think you call it fall in America. What was that there? Something. Oh, it was a smoking sign. Seen something flash up. Right, so we're gonna have to go through this building right here. Get off the horse. I'll stay with Callus. I hate that name. <laughs> How many people do you think are there? Like fireflies. I mean. I reckon it takes quite a crew to run that operation. You think there will be other people my age? Uh, I'm not sure. So Ellie's still following us in on the horse. Which is fine. I'm going to definitely have to jump off here though to um, open this gate. Sounds like runners. Stay with the horse. I'll go to the horse. Yes, I don't want him running off. I'll be right back. How confident Joel is now just barging into a infected territory. Huh. Looks like someone jerry rigged this thing. <sighs> Low juice. So there there's a wire. See if I can get the power back on. Going up through that window. There's a note here as well. See what the note says. We had to rig up the door to the generator upstairs. Please use it sparingly. We're running out of gas. So we're going to have to go up there now and turn the generator on. And there's also infected in this section. So we're going to actually do that, guys, in the next part. We're going to end it here. Hopefully we'll be able to um, take too much damage in clearing out these infected. Bye everyone.